you get presented with the opportunity to work with entrepreneurs, you don't have to necessarily have your own company. You don't have to seek out your own, I guess, structured idea. You can add your own ideas and your own input and your own creative license to a startup which is already in its beginning stages. So the university teaches you how to structure a business. They teach you about how stocks are structured, what's a good option to get. Um, but more than that, it teaches you the teaming experience that you really need to run a business, that you need to get the correct team in an entrepreneurial uh, company in order to make it succeed, because that is where a company is, has the potential to be the weakest, and a team will make or break it. Although I had a great time with Ricardo, I didn't like what I saw when it came to people being in control. Of, uh, of my destiny and, and, and others' destiny. I decided that I was not gonna, um, gonna be that, that person. I, I wanted to go off on my own. And it is important to apply all the concepts and the theory and test it and everything else, but when you get down to it, negotiating with your customers, building those relationships, learning to actually work on a product development cycle and doing those negotiations is by far more important because you can make your technology work usually if you have a good tech idea but you have to learn how to work with customers because those long cycles do happen a lot and you have to be aware of them when you go into a project. In that frame um, the finance classes especially for an engineering undergrad it was extraordinarily beneficial to understand uh, how to structure uh, cash flow statements, uh, income sheets, balance sheets um, things, very basic things that uh, I could jump into um, without having uh, that sort of uh, professional background. Get involved with any team. If there's a team on campus, it doesn't have to be your major, it doesn't have to be your interest area necessarily, but get that experience early on. Because as soon as you get on a team and start building that experience, you'll see that it transfers over to pretty much any company that you'll work with whether it's the big company, whether it's an actual startup company. Don't be afraid with that to ask for help, right? It isn't a sign of weakness, it's a sign of intelligence. And also, I guess last one, sorry, is, is have true milestones in what you're doing. Like if you're gonna commit to something, what is it that you need to show to yourself, your team, or your investors in three months, in six months, in 12 months?